In this video, I'm going to be showing you the second component to building any effective offensive scheme in Madden, and that is the ability to have a really good counterplay. Now, what makes a good counterplay in Madden? We're going to show you in this video. But in order to be effective in Madden, I believe that you need five key things to be effective on the offensive side of the ball. The first thing that I believe that you need to be effective is a really good power play. This is something that you can run an entire game, 75, 80% of the game. A play that you must make go, a play that you will make go, a play that you will run again and again and again. This is what you're bread and butter play right this is what a power play is a power play has to be able to beat man zone match and the pressure out of man or pressure out of zone and we talked a little bit about that in the other video that we did on this formation out of the Washington playbook. We talked a little bit about it as it pertains to why sale. Now, if you want to get my entire, all of my eBooks in Madden, we've taken a lot of that work out for you. And we teach you all of the best offenses and defenses in the game. The link is in the description. $10 gets you access to everything over there at the Patreon page. And like I said, you're going to learn everything that I know about Madden NFL football and all of those eBooks. And I think have one of the better offenses and defenses in the game. That being said, today we're taking a look at a counter play. A counter play is something that needs to look like your power play, but it needs to go in a different direction. It needs to attack a different uh, area of the field. I think that is super. Uh, super, super important. Uh, and so in this, we're going to show you a little money play. I love this play. You could do this out of mesh spot, but honestly, I think it's just, I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, it, it really doesn't matter what you use, um, you know, because it's really more of adjustments. So we're going to stay in that Y sale play, um, you know, but we're going to show you how this works. So how are we going to run this? What is our setup? How do we like to run my counter play? What we're going to do for this formation for a counter play is essentially, if you think about it, the power play, we're leveraging the power of this tight end route. And if they use the tight end well, then they're going to be in a decent spot for us to for them to attack it. So what I want to do is give them give a setup today that is going to be very effective for even if they use or the even if they use the tight end. OK, so in my opinion. The best play for this uh, is to put a C route to the left side to streak the slot receiver. And then we're going to slot apprentice post this right side uh, receiver Cooper Cup. And we've got this drag out of mesh post that I really like. You don't have to use mesh post. You can or mesh pop mesh mesh spot. I'm sorry. Um, you could do anything. And then you can have this little quick throw wheel too to the back. Something like this. Super simple. This play is super effective though because now if you take a look at this, we're going to be attacking the left side of the field. Um, whereas in the power play, we were primarily attacking the right side of the field. Now we're going to attack the left side of the field. And it doesn't look all that different from the play sale itself. The main thing that's different is now the tight end is going to be sharp cutting underneath as opposed to going vertical and going to the corner. The routes on the right side are going to be breaking in inward. If you think about it in sail, everything to the right is breaking outward. Everything to the left is breaking inward. Now we're going to flip it. Everything to the left is going to be breaking outward, and everything to the right is going to be breaking inward. So that is an example of a really high-level counterplay, and this counterplay is really good as well because, as you can see here, we're going to be able to beat and attack man coverage and zone coverage. Now, one other little caveat with this play that I wanted to bring up is this is really good because, in general, it's going to make a lot of sense to want to have this tight end side to the wide side of the field. So when we go to something like this, to the short side of the field, this is actually going to make this play so much better because when you run the C route to the short side of the field, then your streak is going to be able to pull any zone back and you're going to be able to throw that C route against the zone coverage. So this is the, a great example of a power uh, of a counter play um, that is going to give you a lot of success. This also has a really good snap throw wheel in it. And the fact that we can just snap, throw it if we get pressured, and our now our running back is going to kind of be one on one on the back side of this formation. Super high level, um, super super high level uh, little counter play. Another thing we can do with this is, um, you know, you got your you've got your route to Cooper Cup, right? So let's say that you know they're running, you know, some type of let's say they're running some type of double Mabel zone or or something like that. You have this streak. What the streak route's going to do for you is he is going to attract the attention of the third, and then you can highball that post in behind the yellow zones. 
That post route is also going to do a really good job of attacking man, attacking zone. It does not matter what they do defensively. The biggest thing with this is now we have a play that's going in the complete opposite direction. Now, granted, we're doing it with majority hot routes, but it kind of serves the same purpose as we could easily go to a place such as, um, I think it's escape here, where we take this guy, put him on a streak, put the tight end on that, you know, do something like that. It's the same basic thing. The difference is the C route is much better against man coverage and this, the short slot apprentice post is going to be significantly more effective for attacking the coverage that way. So you can kind of build the same basic concept. And I'll show you how to do it out of uh, wheels or escape without any hot rod abilities. We're going to streak the outside receiver. We're going to in route the, the running back or um, I'm sorry, the tight end. Actually, uh, in this example, we're going to we're gonna out route the tight end. We're going to in route and smart route that slot receiver. And then we could take the running back and put him on a in or an out. If we put the running back on a wheel, then we would want to have that drag right there just like this. And as you can see, if they press us, the short out elite is going to absolutely destroy press coverage over the top. This is how you create an effective counter play in Madden 23. You have to have a power play that beats everything. Your counter play should beat everything. And you should be able to call this counter play in conjunction with your power play for about 80% of your offense mm -hmm. because it's going to funnel them into some over aggressive defenses where our constraint theory plays are going to really give the defense a lot of trouble. Thanks for watching this video for all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks completely broken down get all x to access to them make sure to join the patreon the link to sign up for that is down in the description of this video